What is going on internet? It is your boy Simple Games and I would like to welcome you guys back to the channel. Now as a bunch of you obviously know, Dylan released a video on how to play a Kensei and how to become a Kensei God. Now yeah, that video, it was good, you know. I mean, it, it's kind of what got us to the point we're at as of making this video. But today, I'm going to show you guys how to play Shinobi. You can't see it, but uh, my Shinobi is Rep 5, and I have learned a couple of things playing with Shinobi, and I can show you guys how to dominate with Shinobi. And if you enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, share, and as always, subscribe. And we're just going to get right into this video. Now, <clears throat> this is a... <clears throat> Sorry about that bit of delay guys. My controller just died <clears throat> My bad Anyways, this isn't gonna be your regular uh Well, it's not gonna be your regular guide. We're gonna do this assuming that you know all of shinobi's moves <clears throat> So this is gonna be more of an advanced guide, but Anyways, so the first move you're going to want to know with Shinobi is you're going to go for a heavy, go for a heavy, and faint. Now, I'm going to show you again, go for a heavy, go for a second heavy, ah. I'm going to show you guys again, go for a... I'm going to show you guys again, go for a heavy, go for a second heavy, and a heavy and faint it. Now, from this, you can do a number of things. You can go for the heavy, come back down, fake it, and go for a guard break. And you can honestly keep repeating this until you get out of stamina. Because some people, they just won't see it coming. <laughs> it's kind of funny when that stuff happens. Now, the thing I love about this is you can come in, do this, faint, go for that, go in for a second one, do like that, and then roll out. <clears throat> now, that little combo right there will more than likely have your opponent at some... <laughs> It'll do a lot of damage. Another thing with Shinobi that I personally like to do is I'll start winding up. And I'll just go in, hit him with a kick, go for a second one. And you can faint that second one, guys. Alright? So, I'm going to show you one more time. Go in for a kick, hit the heavy, go for a second heavy, faint it, and then go for a light. And again, this is another this is another one of those combos where you could seriously just rinse and repeat it over and over again. Because more than likely they won't be able to figure it out. They'll be expecting for you to go for that second heavy. And even if you start fainting it, go for the second one, they won't be expecting that. It. It'll hit. It's a pretty pretty good combo. <clears throat> again, one of my favorite things to do is to get them like this, then go for it, go for that, and then faint and boop boop. Just like that. Another thing you can do with Shinobi, now this is pretty basic Shinobi type stuff, but uh, you go for a heavy, yo, mm. you go for a heavy, now, <sighs> get the fuck away, bitch, Don't you go for a heavy, you know, you fake it, and then you hit him with a guard break, and then you can hit Sickle Rain from there. Now, the way this is supposed to work is, uh, well, you go for that heavy, they don't, they see it, Right, right, right. So they see that you miss it, and then they go for an attack, and then you do your backflip, and you can hit a guard break from there. Go down on the ground and just hit simple rain. <clears throat> Pretty simple shinobi type shit. I mean, nothing. I don't think anything up here that I've showed you guys is too complicated, but it definitely confuses your opponent, and they really won't see it coming. You do this, and then you can kick them, go from there, and again, you just kind of chain your combos off. <clears throat> oh, another thing you can do from canceling that, uh, let me show you guys. Another thing you can do from canceling this is go for it, fake it. Now, you have to be relatively close to your enemy to do this. The You won't see me do this too much, but, uh, <clears throat> one of the reasons I do really like the light attack one better is because you can feign it, and he'll come up for it like that. So, he counts, when he does his attack, he moves up, as you can see. As you can see like from right here, he has insane range and stuff like that. Now this next move, I need to show you guys, I had to get out of stamina for, so hold on real quick. 
All right, here we go. All right, so as you can see, I'm out of stamina, but look, Shinobi's so far away that he can hit attacks like that. You saw how far away I was from her, but he can hit heavy attacks like that. So the way you can use this to your advantage is, okay, so you're out of stamina, you know, you back up, and then once you back up, you can hit a heavy, and he'll come leaning forward. You, Your opponent won't expect it, and that is actually how I won the tournament. Wow. Mm. I'm about to lose this to a fucking car. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this. I'm gonna lose this shit. To a fucking conqueror. One, two. I still feel like I'm gonna lose this, man. I fucking feel it. Ooh. I tied it back up 2-2 two, two. I don't know I'm, I'm not trying to get my hopes up there Alright I just want it! I just want it! I just want it! Oh my god! 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 Oh! Yes, it was the final. Oh! Oh my god! Let's fuck
can go. That's the way you can do that. Another thing you can do is once you're out of stamina, you can obviously <clears throat> do a light too. <clears throat> on the light attacks, he goes just about as far. But if you're really looking for the win, I suggest going for the heavy. Now, <clears throat> the final thing I'm going to teach you how to do with Shinobi is to quad dash. Now, I there's a way you can go infinitely with Shinobi, where basically you can do this just infinitely of times but this is the quad dash so you see one two three like that all right so let me show you guys again that's the quad dash with shinobi again i'm not real sure on how to chain it to where it's just one huge long one if you guys play shinobi and no please leave that down in the comments so the way you do a regular you know double dash is xx or yeah you know you dash hits X two times he does a little smoke thing now the way you do the quad dash is you go XX and then hold the heavy button so X XX hold heavy right here guys I made a mistake the way you actually do this combo is is you XX and then you hold the heavy button and you press X again that is my bad I'm sorry guys now another thing you can do from this Obviously, it is. Mm. Oh, my bad, guys. I was trying to go for a guard free. Another thing, too, if you're going to play Shinobi at this kind of level, you're going to want to know everything you can do with a dash. So, if you really want to be effective with Shinobi, and you, let's say you've never played him before, but you know his moves, I suggest really working on the dash because most of your attacks are. Most of your attacks that confuse people are going to come from those dashes. So, <clears throat> I'm going to teach you guys just a couple of dashes that I use when I play Shinobi. So, one of them that I use is, is I jump forward and then jump back like that. But, uh, you know, just quad, you jump forward, jump back, it'll give you that double dash, it'll confuse your opponent, and then, you know, if you see your opponent going for a heavy, they're going to miss, they're going to think you're coming up, you know, get the sickle rain damage. Alright, now, the way, one of the reasons I really like Dash with, or you're going to find out one of the reasons I really like Dash with Shinobi is, let's say, you know, I'm going against the person, I can go here, and then come here, I can go there, like that, really it's just practicing on your Dash, now the way I did this guys was, Dash, Dash to the left, Dash to the right, and then, you know, just hold the quad Dash down, so, Dash to the left, Dash to the right, that usually really confuses people, you can, you just really gotta practice with it with most of these combos you really have to practice with but one of the easiest ones I would say and one of the most confusing one is this one because not a lot of people think you're gonna go and faint it so it'll really catch people off guard I have seen another thing too is when you go for this and then go for the guard break they'll start getting used to it so then if you go for that them two little light attacks and don't be predictable all the time, you know, you can slow it down a little bit with Shinobi. So, you know, you go for it, you can hit it super duper fast and then back away. Or you can go for it, you know, if your opponent's expecting it, you go for it a little slow. Just go for it a little slow. You always, you basically just have to always uh, try to out trick your opponent. That's why, you know, if you're far away from your opponent or something like that, you can start doing random dashes just to fuck with them a little bit. Now another one of my moves, I'm not real sure if I've showed this yet, but uh, anyways here it is. So, you know, you're acting like you're gonna go for that long heavy, and then you dash forward, and and then from there you can just kind of chain it up. Now she could be coming, now that I'm out of stamina, she could be coming from here, she doesn't expect it, boom, you just won the game, you won your tournament, congratulations, you, you just did a simple games. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, I hope that wasn't too hard to keep up with. Uh, it's, you know, Shinobi is a very fun character. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Hello, guys, and um, before we go, I think we really needed to acknowledge this, but um. <laughs> <clears throat> we just hit 100 subs on the channel, and that's pretty fucking sweet, dude. 
Um, this is something that me and Dylan have been looking forward to for a very, well, pretty long time. Um, it's kind of surreal a little bit, and it seems like every video that we've been posting, we've been getting 20 plus views on our stuff, which for us is pretty fucking good. And honestly, guys, we never really acknowledged the point that we got past our first goal of uh, 50 subscribers, and I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> Do not worry, though, because we just reached 100 subscribers, and I'm sure me and Dylan can come up with something special to do, to do for you guys for hitting this huge milestone in our YouTube career. So from the bottom of mine and Dylan's heart, we would just like to say thank you. I wish Dylan could be here with me. <clears throat> I wish he could be here with me when I'm saying this because, I mean, it is something we've been looking forward to forever. But, um, <clears throat> anyways, again, guys, thank y'all so much. Y'all been really supporting the channel here lately, and it feels good. So, hey, we, I, we both really like doing this stuff, so if you could leave a like, a comment and share this video I would seriously appreciate it thanks guys this is some games signing off peace